Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art and today we're going to be making a Kandinsky inspired print. Kandinsky was best known for his abstract paintings. Today we're going to be creating his work in a print style, so we'll be using some of his lines, his textures, his colours in our own work. So we're going to be emulating those shapes, but using printmaking instead of painting. So here's a bit of an example of what we'll be creating. So this is a really good activity for junior primary if you're learning about printmaking for the first time or you're learning about line work. So the process here is to use some stamps. So we're going to be using these tangram shapes. So these are just some foam stamps that are in different shapes and we'll also be using this circular sponge shape. If you don't already have pre-made stamps, you can make your own shapes by just cutting out a kitchen sponge into the shapes that you like. So these coloured areas are just sponge print using some watercolours. Again, you could use a stamp pad or dies, depending on what you have on the sponges instead. So we'll be printing those and then drawing over the top with just a black marker. So to begin, just using your sponge shapes. Just take those out of their little square. So you don't need every single shape that we have. I'm just going to be using some different size triangles, a square and maybe a circle for this. If you do look at Kandinsky's work as inspiration, you can see that he just uses very simple shapes and forms in his work. So we'll just be sticking to these. So all I'm going to do is use my brush and apply a little bit of watercolor onto these sponges. You don't want your sponges to be too wet, otherwise your colour can smudge. So just with a little bit of pressure, pressing that down evenly. And then we have our first print and we'll continue to do shapes across the page and you can overlap your shapes as well. So if you do have any excess colour on your sponges, just get another piece of paper and clean that off. And you can clean off your brush on the same piece of paper as well. So now we've got a few prints on the page. So you can do more prints, you can do less bigger shapes or smaller shapes, but you just don't want to fill up the page with too much going on. So you can have a little bit of a look at some of Kandinsky's works and maybe you can try and replicate those with printmaking or just grab a few ideas off him. But now what we're going to do once this has dried a little bit more is just go over these shapes over the whole picture with some different lines. So thick lines, thin lines, and just look at some of his shapes. So in Kandinsky's work, he uses a lot of straight lines as well as some curved lines. So here I've just got some things that I'll trace around. So I've got these cups, different sizes that I can trace some circular shapes with as well as a ruler for some of my straight lines. And I'm just going to be using a thick and a thin black marker to draw some of these shapes and lines across the page. So this is going to create some overlap with these shapes that we have printed in the background. So the prints and the colours will be in the background and these black lines are going to be in the foreground. All I'm going to do is draw a few lines and as I'm working I'm going to make some areas thicker and some areas thinner. So you can change up the markers that you're using to use a fine liner or a broader marker as well.
So now that I've drawn some of my patterns on top of these prints, I think I'm quite happy with that. Of course, you can do more, you can do less, it's all up to you. You might even wanna to listen to some music as you're creating your drawings over the top. Kandinsky used music as inspiration, so that might be something that you want to tap into as well. But otherwise, I'm quite happy with how this is finished. If you wanted to extend yourself, you can go on a much larger scale. You could even do this as a group work and it might be quite nice as a collaborative piece. But this is a really fun activity, especially if you're just learning about printmaking or want to do some really simple prints with materials that you have around the house. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.